Thunder Road originally featured trains from the Jetstream, a roller coaster at Chicago's defunct Riverview Park. Upon arriving at Carrow Winds, the trains were themed to resemble a sheriff's car and an outlaw's car, in accordance with the coaster's original theme, but in 1980 the Riverview trains were retired and replaced with new, higher-capacity Philadelphia toboggan coasters trains. However, Thunder Road's trains originally faced forward until one side was reversed to run backwards in 1995. Dawning is the situation. Wicked Twister is a second-generation steel inverted impulse roller coaster at Cedar Point in Sandusky in Ohio. It is currently the tallest and fastest inverted roller coaster in the world, although it is not complete circuit. When it opened in 2002, it was the first second-generation impulse coaster in the world. Steel Venom and Possessed followed. However, just before the death of Robert Munger Jr., Iron Dragon debuted on the Million Dollar Midway, near the station of the Cedar Point and Lake Erie Railroad Station, just like that. In 2002, Wicked Twister debuted as the first second-generation Intamin Inverted Impulse Coaster. Today, Wicked Twister is the tallest and fastest inverted roller coaster in the world. New for 2011, Windseeker rises riders up 300 feet in the air in one of 32 double seats that spins around the center pole at a maximum speed between 25 and 30 miles per hour. Look straight down to the frown, 300 feet below in this new ride for 2011. Rise up 300 feet in the air in one of 32 double seats that spins around the center pole at a maximum speed between 25 and 30 miles per hour. Shut up. It's too early to ride Texas Giant. Nearly everyone believes that Texas Giant closed at the end of the 2009 season for extensive renovations which took the entire 2010 season to complete and cost approximately $10 million. The modifications included raising the height of the lift hill to 153 feet, steepening the drop to 79 degrees and turns banked up to 95 degrees. The coaster will use a brand new type of all steel track. So, when it reopens, the Texas Giant will no longer be a wooden roller coaster. Instead, it will become a steel coaster with a wooden support structure, enabling the ride to be much smoother than in previous seasons. The new Texas Giant is scheduled to reopen to the public on Memorial Day weekend 2011 as part of the park's 50th anniversary celebration. Quiet. The new Texas Giant will not open until Memorial Day weekend 2011. Shut up. It's too early to ride Texas Giant. Nearly everyone believes that Texas Giant closed at the end of the 2009 season for extensive renovations which took the entire 2010 season to complete and cost approximately $10 million. The modifications included raising the height of the lift hill to 153 feet, steepening the drop to 79 degrees and turns banked up to 95 degrees. The coaster will use a brand new type of all steel track. So, when it reopens, the Texas Giant will no longer be a wooden roller coaster. Instead, it will become a steel coaster with a wooden support structure, enabling the ride to be much smoother than in previous seasons. The new Texas Giant is scheduled to reopen to the public on Memorial Day weekend 2011 as part of the park's 50th anniversary celebration. Oh well, it's a good movie, after all.